They're off and racing, jumping away. Harriet's Girl, one of the front rank ones. Arizona John also started the race pretty brightly, as indeed did Ocean Transit right up on the outside, who possibly now has the fractional lead. Brasingaman High Five and Kiwi Bay are dropped back into fourth and fifth places. Then on the inside rail is Ninth House. South Cape is buried away towards the rear of the main group, with two behind, those two being ours and Observatory Star, who's just last in the yellow and purple hoop jacket. On they head then towards the end of the back straight, and up front, Ocean Transit, just headed now by Harriet's Girl, who's back in front. Back in third place is Arizona John, followed in fourth by Brasingaman High Five. Ninth house next, then Kiwi Bay, and then there's a little break back to South Cape and Observatory Star, and ours is the one now struggling to lay up with them, pushed along in last place as they now come down the straight. So less than half a mile left to run, and up front, Ocean Transit once again comes alongside Harriet's Girl for the lead. Arizona John tracks them in third place, apparently going well. Brasingaman High Fives come under pressure now. Ninth house is trying to pick up, and then down the wide outside of the field is Kiwi Bay, and now Observatory Star makes Pretty stylish progress from the rear end of the field to try and launch a challenge too. Less than two furlongs left to go. Up front under pressure, Ocean Transit from Harriet's Girl. On the outside, Arizona John. Observatory Star has had nowhere to go for the last half a furlong. Kiwi Bay improves on the outside. So too South Cape. It's all changed once again. Kiwi Bay, Arizona John, South Cape. Observatory Star's had a nightmare run. Switches to the outside, but surely now too late as South Cape goes on to score. South Cape from in second. Kiwi Kiwi Bay, and how unlucky was Observatory Star, a close third at the line. South Cape has beaten uh, Kiwi Bay, Observatory Star only third in the end, a winner for Gary Moore and uh, Tad O'Shea.